Randy, the natural couture. I'm Stefan Bonner. This is Canada Spider Grove. I'm Cara Prezen. This is Brandon Truth Vera. Hey, I'm Ariane Celeste. Yeah, I'm Chuck Dunn. I'm Forrest Griffin. I am Fyodor. You are watching MMA Fix. For RawVegas.tv and the MMA Fix, my name is Dave Farah at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas, standing next to the owner of Extreme Couture, right? Not quite. <laughs> okay, uh, but at least you're one of the Coutures. You have the name. That's true. It's funny, I say Couture is fighting now, and it doesn't really just mean Randy Couture. It could be Kim Couture, of course. Ryan Couture, the son of Randy. You've got a big fight coming up on the 15th, right? I do, at uh, Tough Enough at the Orleans. For people who don't know about Tough Enough, explain it a little bit. I mean, it's an amateur show, and it's the rising stars of MMA, but how did you get involved with the organization? Uh, I've been watching their shows since the first one they did out here. It's It's been a good outlet for our uh, members that are, that are looking to pursue competition to get some experience in front of a crowd and... and sort of learn the ropes without having to turn pro. So I, I just kind of felt that they run a good show. They seem to treat the fighters well and, and decided to be a good place for me to get some experience too. Tell us about your opponent. I know not a whole lot about him. I know he's three and one. His name's Art Martinez. Saw his last fight, but it only lasted about a minute. Can't get too much out of that. Looks like he likes to wrestle. Should be strong and explosive. Hopefully have a bit of an advantage standing up. Plans to see how he does there, see how he likes boxing with me. He's a little bit bigger guy. He's fought in the welterweight division. You fight at 155. Do you think that's going to be a problem for you, a factor at least in the fight? He might have a little more horsepower, but I should still have the reach. I think I'm going to be taller than almost everybody I face at 155. And, you know, my movement's good. I've got a strong wrestling background. And he's not going to be anything I haven't seen here in, in the gym. So should be good. Your dad's Randy Couture. How much has he coached you getting ready for this fight? You know, he's pretty good about not putting the pressure on me. If, if I have any questions, he's there for me. He's made it clear that, that he's not going to push it on me. Anything I need, he's there. And uh, so, you know, anytime I need advice, I go to him. But otherwise, he just kind of sits back and, and lets the staff that we have here do their job. And, and so far, that's been working real well for me. Growing up in a family that was always a part of the wrestling community and a very strong base, is that something that you've done since you were a child? Or did you really just start to focus and enter the game as a, a real wrestler? I didn't really get into wrestling until junior high school. Uh, I wrestled all through junior high and high school and then took a break for a few years in college. Decided to get back in shape a couple years ago and met some guys that were doing some jujitsu. And that's sort of what led me into the kickboxing and, and then to MMA. You know, obviously having had the father that I have, couldn't help but be a fan of it all along, but uh, didn't really start doing it until a couple years ago. Most people say that Randy is an incredible role model, an all-around great guy. I'd have to say that I concur with the all-around great guy part. Do you think that you're at a disadvantage having such a good loving father as opposed to an abusive alcoholic dad like a lot of fighters? Not at all. I think I've learned a lot about the kind of human being I want to be and, you know, Obviously, it being my second amateur fight, I'm already giving interviews and things like that. He's been a great role model for just sort of how to carry myself in, in the public eye. You know, I can only hope to do half as good a job as he's done, but I, I couldn't be more lucky than I am. Okay, what about the flip side, though? Because he has had so much, so much success. He is such a nice guy. There's this huge looming shadow. How do you get out from underneath that shadow? I just kind of have to try and be true to myself and, and forge my own path, you know. People will figure out quick when they watch me fight that my style is not remotely like his and, and you know, I'm my own fighter and you know, I'm always going to have to deal with the fact that I'm Randy's kid, but, you know, it's, it's got as many upsides or more so than it does downsides, so I'm willing to deal with the extra pressure for the benefit that it brings. This is probably the most important question of the interview. What's it like having a hot stepmom? <laughs> I don't really think of her that way. She's just Kimmy to me, but um, she's been a, a great friend and a, and a great uh, person to have around. And she's always willing to help out with anything that I need, so so it's, it's great. February the 15th is a huge show for you. Tough enough, it's going to be happening at the Orleans Arena. What's the next step? Let's say things go exactly how you want them to on the 15th. Are you thinking professional? Are you thinking taking things to the next level? Taking it one fight at a time. Uh, as long as I don't get injured in this next fight, I'm planning on going back to my hometown in uh, Bellingham, Washington, to fight again in March. And then... Uh, you know, if I keep having as much fun as I'm having and getting better at the rate I am, then you'll definitely see me fighting professionally someday. Nice to talk to you, man. It seems like you got your head screwed on right, and I really think that just watching some of your work out here, that you've got, like you said, a very impressive stand-up game, which is exactly what people wouldn't expect from Randy Couture's son. So I like how you're taking a bit of a different path. Good luck to you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I'm Dave Fair. Thanks for watching the MMA Fix. This is Ryan Couture, and you're watching the MMA Fix.